Alright, in this video I'm going to explain what I plan to do for the month of January. And for the month of January I've kind of made it my microbiology, um, immunology, I guess actually all my microbiology month. I don't know why, but I guess last year we did micro in January, so maybe it's all the fond, <laughs> lovely memories of micro in January in the winter. But my goals, it's not so much week by week by week what I'm doing kind of like I did with the first aid book for end of no November and December, but I have kind of just the whole month of January devoted to microbiology. So I have I didn't bring this, down. this book, which I haven't started yet, but clinical, clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple. And I really like it just from paging through it. Like I said, I haven't gone through and actually read any like really read anything. Uh, I really like the pictures. I definitely am the type to remember crazy silly stuff. The crazy and sillier it is, the better. And it seems like this book will, I don't know, it has pictures and stuff. So it's huge though. So I'm going to really have to get on board with reading that book. So um, the clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple. See, I shortened that to C-M-M-R-S on my list because I was not typing all that up. And so the first week I was going to focus on bacteria, which was um, quite a few pages out of this book. Second week, viruses, parasites, fungi. And then, so for the, also, okay, sorry. For the first week I was going to focus on bacteria. And then I also took a diagnostic exam. I think I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that school I go to, part of our tuition includes a board study program. So this year they decided to go with Kaplan and the high yield online everything. And with that, I had get a diagnostic exam. So I did that, I think January 2nd, when everyone else was out having mostly a day off. I was, well, I was only three hours, it wasn't too bad. And that gave me a baseline, which was kind of shocking. I don't know if anyone's taken that diagnostic exam, but ugh. I definitely have room for improvement. So that was good to take. And then my goal every week is to do at least 120 questions out of my Kaplan Q bank. And I think I've already done 15 or 16 percent. So I've definitely made some headway on that. And so I don't know, that breaks down to maybe 25 a day if you count Monday through Friday and then kind of your catch up on your weekends. So that's kind of what's my plan for January. The first so I, like I said, first week bacteria, second week viruses, parasites, fungi, and then do the 25 questions a day, kind of be about 125 questions a week. And then the third week I was going to do antibiotics. So again, you can see I'm going with all this microbiology. And, oh, I guess in my last video I said I wasn't going to use this, but I think antibiotics are very important. And being a primary care physician, I will be using, I guess any physician, probably antibiotics are going to be huge. So I really want to understand them. And that was unfortunately my worst test in pharmacology. So I know I need work on it and I really want to get them all down. So for the first week I'm going to do, or for the third week of January, I'm going to do all the antibiotics out of this book, which is chapters 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 50, and 51. And then also the 120 questions a week. I'm just going to start that um, from here on out. And then the fourth, final week of January, I'm going to do the antivirals, fungals, and protozoal pharmacology out of this book. It's chapters 48, 49, and 52. So looking forward to that week. It'll probably be a catch-up week for me because I don't know how I'm going to be able to make it through this whole book and then all the antimicrobial antibiotics, virals, fungi, parasites, all that. So... I don't know, good January, lighter, heavier than the last week's, I'm not sure. Kind of follows along right now. We're in the class of infectious disease, which is kind of a review of micro, a little bit more applicable, and a few things um, like public health involved in our classes. So kind of matches up. I figure I really have to understand which ones are, you know, are the rods, which ones are the gram positives, you know, which ones are found with cat bites. I figure this is all stuff I'm going to have to know for the boards and I'm going to have to know for my upcoming tests. So a good month to do it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me, email me. Um, I'm following this plan here. I can't really read it off of here. So if you want, just email me at marriedinmedschool at gmail.com. All one word. And I will forward that on to you. 
So I hope everyone's doing well and let me know how board sitting is going for you. It's kind of been kicking off here at school. Some people are starting, some people aren't. It's kind of getting into that craziness of, I don't know, stressing out. So I've signed up for my actual exam date. So I have a week countdown going, which is frightening. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well.